Today, I am grooming a 220-pound Caucasian Shepherd, also known as an Ovcharka, and he's been denied by several other groomers. Caucasian Shepherds are known for their aggressive nature towards strangers and their territorial instincts. Stay tuned to watch me transform this beautiful hairy beast, and please don't forget to subscribe. So I may or may not have lost my mind today, but I am about to groom a Caucasian Shepherd on my own that I've never done before without any help. So I mean, losing my mind is a great possibility. Now he has his collar on and he has a grooming loop on. And the reason for that is because if this dog decides that he is going to back out of the shower, he is 200 pounds and there is no way I'm forcing him back in it. So let's all hope for the best. Um, yeah, okay. Are you gonna freak out over the water? You are absolutely disgusting, man. I really like you, but like this bib here, like what, I don't know what's going on there, but it is pretty nasty. You need a bath. You stink. Okay. Just wanna see how he reacts to the water first, because the last thing I want is to be in the shower with him when he decides to attack the water hose. That would be a not so great experience. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. You're okay, buddy. Big, giant, scary Caucasian Shepherd afraid of water. You're okay, buddy. Good boy. Very good boy. If I have to, I will bathe him outside today, but it is kind of cool. It is a fall day. I don't think he'll be cold, but I will certainly be cold. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Very good boy, you massive beast. It's just water. Look at that, that is some nasty things. Like what, I'm gonna probably have to shave that out of him because I do not see that being able to be washed out. I'm standing at the entrance, not because I'm afraid to go in with him because he seems to be a very good dog, um, but because I don't want him to back out of the shower because I don't have help to prevent me from, or sorry, to prevent him from backing out. So I am blocking the entrance so he thinks he can't escape. But let me tell you, if this dog wants to escape, he is definitely going to escape and there is nothing I'm gonna be able to do about it. You're a good boy, don't worry. Okay, you can sit if you like. No groomer will take him because he is so massive and he won't go on the table. So I will be grooming him on the floor today. I will definitely not be putting him on the table. Good boy. I'm currently just attempting to soak him before I use shampoo, but his coat is very dense and he is a full giant mess. Good boy. You're a giant horse. Now, Caucasian Shepherds are known to be very dangerous dogs, which is probably part of the other reason why another groomer did not want to take him on. At his size, he can do some considerable damage. I really tend to have some in-depth conversations with the owners prior to taking their dog on for anything to ensure my safety. Most people are fully aware of whether or not their dog can be trusted with strangers, um, other than the few types of incompetent people who refuse to acknowledge that their dog potentially could have a problem. In this case, the owner seemed well aware of her dog's temperament and felt fully confident that I would be able to handle him without assistance. So. That put my mind at ease. That does not mean that my guard is down. It just means that I am less stressed about the situation of being inside of a shower with a 200 pound Caucasian Shepherd. So now I am soaking him with the hose in the hopes that I can get him wet enough to give him a shampoo. Something tells me you're going to take an entire gallon of 50 to one dilution shampoo with the amount of fricking coat you have. So because he won't stand so far, I don't know how great of a job I'm gonna do on him because there's absolutely no way I'm forcing this dog to stand up if he doesn't wanna stand up. Like there's just no chance that I'm gonna have the ability to do that. So that means that I do the best that I can with what I can do. So we are starting with Nasty Critter Deep Cleaning Shampoo. This shampoo will be available within the next couple of weeks on my website. It is a fantastic, cleaning and deodorizing shampoo. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Good boy. I shall clean your collar at the same time. Good boy. And 
Now I can't tell if he has matting or if it's just a very compacted undercoat that needs to be blown out. Can't tell yet, we will definitely find out once I go blow dry him. Hopefully you let me blow dry you because you don't seem to like the noise too much. It's okay. I have to, I have to wash that, I have to. It is just absolutely terrifyingly disgusting, I'm sorry. So livestock guardian dogs, as we've discussed before, are really mostly a problem in their own environment because they're defending their territory. But according to this owner, he is happy with strangers to come into the house as long as they give him pets. So he doesn't seem to be the typical temperament of the Caucasian Shepherd. That entire canister of shampoo is gone. <laughs> and we've barely done anything to him. I get the question all the time, how I feel safe working on such massive dogs. And the answer to that is just reading body language and understanding the dog's temperament before working on them. He seems to be a really laid back, friendly dog. He doesn't t uh, necessarily like me. I can tell that he doesn't really care for my presence but he doesn't necessarily despise me. And although he doesn't like this, he is not terrified. He's just not too thrilled about it. I feel pretty confident with him. I don't think he would act aggressively, although it's always a possibility when working with animals. I tend to prefer working on the large dogs versus the small dogs, just because their transformation is usually so much greater because it's very difficult to find groomers willing to work with dogs of this size. So I just find it very satisfying. Good boy. The size of your head is just <laughs> gigantic. What are you? Are you a dog or a bear? I might as well be grooming a black bear right now. Look how gross it is in here, man. What the heck? You need like 50,000 more canisters of shampoo. ain't getting up for nothing. No chance. How am I supposed to wash your butt? You're a handsome beast, you know that? Thank you for being a good boy. I really do appreciate it. This is going to be a very satisfying groom, sir. and this is not your average Caucasian Shepherd. I would just like to throw that out there. Anybody watching this video, please don't assume that your Caucasian Shepherd is going to behave like this. This is not the average temperament. He is a literal unicorn. Oh, you're cute. You're a cute giant beast. You are just massive. It is time to blow dry. I'm gonna start him in the shower, see how he behaves. Hopefully I can get the most of the water off of him in the shower before I let him out. Wish me luck. And no, I do not have a happy hoodie big enough for that giant head.
Okay, I'm just gonna shave out some of that matting underneath his chin here, and I'm gonna let him out of here. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. And I'm gonna finish his groom on the ground. I'm probably gonna have to chase him with the dryer, but I can't get him fully dry in here because it's just not gonna work out. I have to shave these out because they are very thick, and there's no way I'm gonna be able to brush them out and they are literally full of gunk from his drool. So this is the best thing to do in that circumstance. Good boy. He is dry, just spraying him down with the stuff for dogs before I brush through him. His coat is in phenomenal condition. There's very little matting. All of that compacted coat came out of him, so brushing should be easy. His temperament is absolutely phenomenal. I love him. He is so, so good. And as long as he's been out of the shower, he is happy to stand for me. So that makes my job a lot easier. I appreciate that, buddy. And actually his back end, surprisingly, I was able to get extremely clean, despite the fact that he wouldn't stand. So I'm also very happy about that. The only problem I think I'm gonna have with his nails is because I can't get him to lay down, he might pull quite a bit when I try to lift his paw. That's what I'm thinking might happen. But what an outstanding temperament on this beautiful, beautiful dog. This is just definitely not your normal Caucasian Shepherd. You giant beast. So the reason why other groomers, I'm going to assume, won't take him is because he won't willingly get into a bathtub or a table being a huge factor. If the groomer does not have a walk-in shower or is unwilling to groom the dog on the ground, then it would be very difficult to groom the dog. So, any groomers out there that are in the area of the Niagara region, I do believe she came from two hours away. So, surrounding cities that has a walk-in shower that doesn't mind this type of work, his temperament is phenomenal. You don't have to worry about him being aggressive. And yes, he's quite a bit of work because you can't get him on the table, but his coat itself is in incredible condition very little matting. It was just really under the chin there where he drools, and I just shaved it out. It's good that I shaved this here even if it wasn't matted, because I'm sure it gets covered in drool every day. So I'm sure the owners would appreciate. 
All right, I'm sure the owners would appreciate it. What a good dog. You see this one? Good boy. No. You have ticklish feet? See there. It's a matting in there. Stay. No, no, no. Stay. Stay there. You know, good boy. This is what I was worried about pulling. He is strong, so if he pulls, I will have a very hard time trying to do this. Nope, stay. Okay, could you lay on your side? Could we do that? That would be cool. Lay down, lay down, lay down. <gasps> lay down, oh, good boy. Oh my God, stay like that, please, for the love of God. I'm gonna shave them first. Oh, oh, stay. Good boy. Shockingly enough, this dog took me two and a half hours by myself. I don't know how that happened. I was expecting a four hour groom. That is pretty remarkable. Two and a half hours. I just had to look at the time twice to make sure I was reading it correctly. Okay, what am I going to give you today? I think I'm going to give you spring rain. Even though it's not spring, I love the smell of this clone. Okay. Remember what Dodge looked like before? And this is what he looks like after. The owner actually cried tears of joy at pickup because her dog was finally accepted in a grooming salon. It broke my heart a little bit, but I hope this video encourages other groomers to give him a shot in their salon. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again in a few days.